Justin Hawkins writes again. I tried to do it softly this time. Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, from the darkness and from Justin Hawkins Rides Again, which is this, my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, sign up for the alerts so that you might be notified each and every time I do anything on here. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about a song by The Weeknd, Weekend, um, which is called Sacrifice. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is familiarise myself with the artist by reading some facts to you. Um, he's a Canadian, I didn't know that. Um, he's known for his sonic versatility and dark lyricism. I'll be the judge of that. No, just kidding. Um, he explores um, escapism, romance and melancholia. He began his recording career in 2009 by anonymously releasing music on YouTube. Cool. Uh, <laughs> the Weeknd revealed his album Starboy was 100% influenced by the deaths of David Bowie and Prince. He named the album after Bowie's Starman. He said, I just love him. He's the ultimate inventor. Um, he's also a big Michael Jackson fan. The reason why I think this is relevant is because I once walked into um, the crew room at a gig and I saw um, a tech, a well-known bass and guitar tech um, leaning in and watching a um, watching The Weeknd, that one of their one of his early songs, I suppose and admiring greatly the groove of it um you know the riff or i mean it's i was listening to it thinking this is pop music what are you doing you know what what are you doing mate that's pop music this you know listen to you should only ever listen to rock no i was just surprised at, at how he was pouring over this really poppy production but he loved the groove and i think that's probably going to be the case with this one do you think i'll play it let's find out <laughs> nice sort of synthesizer patch there. Oh, birds chirping. Whoa, and he's got cool glasses on. <laughs> wow, it's really cool. It's got like um the kind of leather blazer that you might see, um, you know, a, a, a Hollywoodized um, drug pusher wearing, like a really successful one, and a leather tie as well. <laughs> Okay, yeah, great groove actually. Can already hear it. <laughs> Sounds like one of the uh, counter guitar lines on, not the main bass line, but the the later sort of guitar stuff that occurs in like the second half, last quarter of um, Thriller by the Michael Jackson. <laughs> He was born in a city, apparently. So was I. Where the winter nights don't ever sleep. Where the winter nights don't ever sleep. Actually, the city I was born in, the, the, the winter nights did sleep. He's, he's cooler than me. So, this life's always with me. so the thing about The weekend is you can hear like the Michael Jackson, and not just Michael Jackson influence, but Michael Jackson thriller influence in it straight away. Um, but it's weird because his voice is so... I can't do it properly. But it's you know I'm not the weekend. You can't expect me to sound exactly like him. But you know it's soft and it has this sort of really fast vibrato. Whereas I think Michael Jackson. He had more dynamics in the way he delivered the stuff. You know he was kind of quiet, loud. Sometimes he had this stuff in his throat that was provided contrast. I don't think anything I've heard of the weekend has that. But uh, that's not to say that you can't take the influence of Michael Jackson and do something really cool with it. Let's see if he does so. I'll play on. The ice inside my veins will never bleed. The ice inside my veins will never bleed. And it sort of jumps and snaps to the note. There's a little bit of auto-tune or melodyne going on in there. I mean, obviously that riff sounds like it's a loop because it's so perfect every time around. But it's you never get bored of hearing... It's really cool. Okay, so now the chords have changed. I know you never find that missing piece. Could nearly do it. If I practice, I could probably get it. When you cry, when you cry. It's not about me doing impressions of him. Come on. It's just so soft, you know. I feel like the singers that were sort of operating in disco bands and your Michael Jacksons and that, I feel like 
to get over the sound of an actual band, you know, not just a laptop with a loop going on, to get over the sound of an actual band, you needed to have some more projection, you know, you needed to be able to actually belt it out. I mean, that's me being old school. I mean, of course, it's it's an artistic impression. You know, if you're sitting there with a laptop and you're doing something, it's no less relevant than bellowing at the top of your lungs over a, a real disco band with an actual human groove. Although, I know which I prefer. Okay, this is, a, this is actually really similar chord sequence to a bit... In uh, Thriller, isn't it? Which what's the bit? There's no escaping the jaws of the alien this time. There's no escaping the jaws of the alien inside. Is it the end of the line? Do 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 do. So that chord sequence is just. It's two semitones down, but it's the same as that bit of Thriller. It's not the chorus, it's not the pre-chorus, it's just a bit that happens because Rod Temperton is an actual genius and writes amazing songs with loads of bits in that you learn just through, you know, osmosis, the osmosis of listening to Thriller all the time because it's a massive fucking hit with an amazing video. You pick up all these bits, but... So he's taken, I think, I... Well, I mean, who knows? He's definitely... He's already said he's influenced by Michael Jackson, but this chord sequence is exactly the same. It's just two semitones out. Just play it again, hang on. Yeah, that bit. This is the end of the line. It could be that. It could be. Okay, so anyway, he's influenced by Michael Jackson, that's fair enough, but this is so close to Thriller, it's kind of uncomfortable. But that riff is amazing. So, do you think this chorus is comparable to Thriller? Just an honest answer, that's all I'm asking. Try to turn on It's Thriller. Thriller wins. Sorry. It's just better. <laughs> Thriller, one of the all-time... What, what is it? What, let's have a look at the stats on Thriller. The Probably the most successful single or video ever. I can't find any fucking information about it. So, anyway, Thriller, Michael Jackson. It's, you know, it's the most obvious lift. I mean, at least go for a deep cut if you're going to, you know, do something that's like that. You know, I always used to make these remarks uh, as a younger man. I used to say things like, you know... This guitarist wouldn't cut the mustard in White Snake, and I just don't think he'd have the power in his in his voice to to stand up there and do what Philip Bailey do, does. You know, I I feel like he's um, so soft, like softly sung. You know, that uh, I just can't imagine. I always imagine would these guys would these guys actually be good enough at the time when people were making the really important songs in these in these sort of with these disco beats and stuff this laptop is one thing real life is quite another i just i just can't but i just i don't know it's an incredible video that reminds me of susudio phil collins you know that mean like that sort of skip beat thing that happens on on every revolution Oh, okay, well, it's it's reminding me a lot of really great and big stuff. Some dad rock and some, you know, all-time legendary Quincy Jones, Rod Temperton written disco that took over the whole world. And I just think if you're going to do something that's that closely inspired by something, choose, choose a, a less well-known song, take an album track, you know, do, do something else. <laughs> <laughs> but the riff's amazing. I just wish it didn't have that descending chord sequence, which is that bit from Thriller. 
Um, because no matter what you do, melodically over the top of it, it's never going to be as good as Thriller, because Rod Temperton wrote that. Um, and The weekend is great, but it's not Rod Temperton. Let's, let's leave it there, shall we? Justin Hawkins writes a game. See, I can't do it. Just wanted to remind you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, sign up for the alerts. And <laughs> watch uh, one of these two videos. Sorry. Professional. And, uh, yep, yeah, see you on the ice. I bid you adieu. Lots of love. Keep coming back.